Hello everyone. We are proud to launch the AnchorTech 77 gigahertz MIMO radar. Here's more information and a demonstration. Hello, welcome to AnchorTech. I'm Dr. Victor Chen, the founder of the company. We're excited to launch our newly developed 77 gigahertz radar kit. I hope you will enjoy our presentation and the demo videos. Thank you. AnchorTech SDR Kit 7700T2R4 is a W-band radar. Its frequency range is from 76 gigahertz up to 81 gigahertz. Bandwidth is adjustable up to four gigahertz. It has two channel transmitter and four channel receiver. Here are some of our exciting new features in this 77 gigahertz SDR kit. Integrated chip AWR1642 from Texas Instrument. An easy to use API defined in MATLAB that lets you stream raw I and Q samples to MATLAB all using USB for signal processing and real-time display. You can also save the raw INQ samples on an SD card for post-processing. Only one single 5V DC power supply is needed. Chirp parameter configuration files provided by TI are fully supported. Several commonly used configurations are provided, but you can learn more on the, the TI website about advanced chirp configurations. MIMO radar with time division multiplexing. MIMO is possible by controlling the two transmitters. In order to differentiate the return signals corresponding to different transmitters, two main strategies are taken time division multiplexing, TDM, and binary phase modulation, BPM. In this demo, we will be focusing on using the time division multiplexing MIMO strategy to increase spatial resolution. For more information about binary phase modulation MIMO, please visit the TI website. By using the time division multiplexing MIMO configuration and appropriate placement of external antenna elements, a virtual eight element receive antenna array can be synthesized using two element transmit array and four element receive array. This enables a higher angular resolution. MIMO gains angular resolution. Here, we place two corner reflectors at two meter distance from the radar with a 20 degree separation angle between the two reflectors. You see on the right, this range angle map shows that the radar is not being used as a MIMO radar. Therefore, the two reflectors become one large unresolvable hotspot on the map. Now, when using this as a MIMO radar, you can tell that the two reflectors become two resolvable hotspots on the map. Range and angle tracking demonstration in phased array system toolbox from MathWorks. In the following video, the range time waterfall and angle time waterfall trajectory maps will show that the MIMO radar is able to track a person's exact movement in the range and the direction angle. Enjoy our video.
For more of these videos, please visit our website at anchortech.com. Hope you enjoy that. Thank you for watching and don't miss our Anchor Tech overview and other videos.